So now we're going to see how fast we can calibrate a camera. Then you can go in, use it in your own applications and projects. Basically, we're going to capture a bunch of images of a chessboard and use the calibration script from my GitHub. You can just run it. It will calibrate the camera and save the parameters so we can use it in your own applications or projects. So first of all here, we will start inside my GitHub. We go into the repositories and into the camera calibration. Then we'll basically just go in here and get and clone it. So we'll just go in, copy paste it. We go into our Anaconda prompt. Then we open up an Anaconda prompt. We hit git clone. And then we basically just copy paste in this um, repository. Here we can see that we have now cloned it into camera calibration. We can open it up with Visual Studio Code and directly calibrate our cameras. So we have now opened up our camera calibration repository that we have cloned. We both have this get images and the calibration. So basically this get images, first of all, we need to create a new folder called images. So we basically just store all the images of our chessboard inside of this folder. And then we're going to use that to run the calibration. So then we have the script for getting the actual calibration images. We just use OpenCV. We have a while loop running as long as our webcam is open. We read in a frame. If we, if we hit S on our keyboard, it will save the image to our directory. And if we hit escape on a keyboard, we will just terminate it and go out, destroy our windows and also release our webcam. And then we have actually generated our folder with our calibration images. So now we're just going to run the program and then I'll have a calibration board here on my iPad. We basically just take it up. You can use an iPad, you can print it out or whatever you want. We basically just take it up. Now we can see that we have opened up the video capture. I just have the iPad here and then we can just hit S on our keyboard and it will automatically save the images to the folder. So we just hit F, we can see that the image has been saved down at the bottom. We basically just rotate our image or like our chessboard around in the image frame to calibrate our camera. We just take a number of images. We just need like around 10 to 10 to 20 images. And then we can always sort our images in the folder afterwards. If it escape, we will just terminate the program and we can go over to the left and see the act like images. So these are the images of our chessboard that we can then go in and use in our calibration script. So if we just go inside the calibration script, first of all, we need to specify the, the size of our chessboard and also the frame size. I want to go into details with this. This is just a calibration script from my GitHub. I have another video where I go over every single line here in calibration script and how it works to actually like calibrate your camera and what these lines of code means. But basically here, we just specify the frame size and the chessboard size. And then we just make sure that we are actually like inside the correct folder. So we go inside the image folders. We just take all the PNGs files, we run it through, and then we just see how it works. So after it has calibrated our image, it will then store the camera matrix and the distortion parameters to free files. Here we have the combined parameters in the camera cal uh, calibration.pickle. We also have them separate in the camera matrix.pickle and the distortion.pickle. So we have the camera matrix and we have the distortion parameters. Then we can load them in into our own application and project. We can basically just, when we want to undistort our function, we can both use this undistort function, but we can also use the remap. Either you can call this init undistort rectify map with our camera matrix and the distortion parameters, or you can just directly undistort your image with your camera matrix and the distortion parameters together with the image that you want to undistort. So now we're going to run our program and see how this camera calibration works. So we're basically just detecting these corners of the chessboard uh, on the images that we have captured with our webcam. Then we basically just run through all the images here, detect the corners. If you want to know more details about how camera calibration works, definitely go into my other videos. I go over how camera calibration works, how to set it up and so on. We can see the total error down here at the bottom. So this is actually like a pretty good camera calibration. Over here to the left, we have opened up one of the images and then we have understored them with the results that we get from our camera calibration. We both have our ca calibration.pickle file. We also have the camera matrix and the distortion parameters. Then you can load those files into your own application and apply these methods that I have down here under the undistortion. We can also see the results here. So I basically just loaded this image into, um, into the program as well. Use the cal camera calibration camera matrix and distortion parameters together. And this is the results that we get. So this is the Kali result it with the undistort method. And this is with the remap method. So we can see that these are actually like pretty similar. The remap method is a bit faster on than the undistort function. So if you run some real time applications, you can actually like run with the remap. 
So these are actually some pretty nice results and we have now calibrated our cameras. We have these two scripts. We get the calibration images with our chessboard. Then we go in just directly run the calibration script. We get the results. Then we can use those results in our own applications and projects. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. Also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. It just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. So I'm doing this computer vision tutorial where we go over like everything within computer vision from the basic image operation techniques to zero vision and all those different kind of things. So if you're interested in that tutorial, I'll link to it up here or else under the scene next video, guys. Bye for now.